We're here, streaming, um, having difficulties with the camera because it keeps changing sizes. So we're gonna have to like play around, probably break the illusion of uh, a clean house. Um, <laughs> so that'll be great. But we also need to turn this guy down and I don't need to hear it. I'm having, look, streaming is hard. I like some people really get this stuff and they're like great at it. And I'm not one of those people. Let's be honest. All right. So there we go. That should be better. Maybe. Um, hopefully it's not too loud, but I'm going to turn it down further. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to be doing some dungeon draft stuff today. Um, same thing, same, uh, adventure that we had in this book here, which I could put a link to if anybody is, like, interested in that um but yeah so um we're going to be making the map from presto changeo which is what we're going to be doing for um the stream um not this saturday but the following saturday so that's on i think the 24th uh it'll be 12 p.m eastern time and we're going to make this map in dungeon draft and then import it into foundry the usual why are we blurry see i'm having all sorts of issues with my camera you don't have to be blurry um so we're going to do that and um if anybody has like questions or uh whatever drop them in the chat i'll be looking at that i now have two monitors which is great finally um when you get used to using two monitors and then you don't for a little bit it's like it's hard. Life gets hard. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and I didn't even open Dungeon Draft. Let me know if the music is too loud because you guys can hear it. I cannot. And I was like, I don't want it to be silent all the time. So. Um, <laughs> so we're going to open Dungeon Draft. Okay, so switch to this camera. We're going to have to look at my webcam. See, everything keeps doing whatever the heck it wants. There we go. Oh, now I'm tiny. There you go. Is that good? Is this making anybody sick? Um, all right, so we're going to make this map. We started it last time. Last time I imported it here we called it potion lab um added my other stuff oh it did import it but where did it go uh trace image ah oh, we lost well maybe i didn't save that's also very possible so you'll get to see that again i guess so pretty easy so if you go to this button here on the left um hopefully you can see it um it's the setting ones, and then you're going to find trace image. Then you're going to hit the little file thing, and we're going to find it. And we had a heck of a time making it rotate, but it should work this time. And there it is. So you can change the scale of it. You can use... Um, I'm sorry if you hear the AC go on. <laughs> um, but you can use um, your mouse wheel. Um, if you hold shift, it makes it go a little faster because um, like I also have like a high DPI mouse. Um, so sometimes my settings get all wonky. Um, but I'm going to kind of line it up. It looks like it'll fit almost perfectly if I line it up. Hold on. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's not 
You can also use um, this stuff on the side here. So there's like a button for the scale and then a, a slider for like opacity and stuff. So if you don't want it to be like as, you know, dark, I think it starts ha like halfway, which makes sense, right? You don't really need to see every single detail on there. Um, I kind of like to make it even less so just because I find it a little bit distracting, especially if it's a map that already has a grid on it, like this one, which it still needs to be maybe just a tad bit bigger. Uh, this is always like the tedious part. Uh, that's close enough. We get the sense of how big this room is. Actually, we're missing a whole extra square on the side. That's good enough. So we're gonna go ahead. We've got that set up. And the cool thing is like, it doesn't move then. Once you have it set up and it's like perfect, you don't have to touch it, <laughs> which is great. So we're gonna go ahead and do some stuff. Um, I haven't used, I've spent a hot minute since I actually made my own map. So you're gonna get to watch me struggle live. That's how all streams go if you're new here. Um, <laughs> it's watching me struggle live and um, yeah and also saying a lot of ums and likes so this is a it's got four different um, like location like key areas um, it is a potion lab and each one of these I'll show you guys on here because you can't really see the numbers so each oops each one of these numbers, oh god, there it goes. Each one of those numbers is a special vat of potions. Um, but on this map, and you can kind of see like on here, I guess I could zoom in so it's not as um, tiny for you guys, which is you can use the scroll wheel to do that and hold control. Um, but uh, each one of these vats, I guess like these this is a special area this is a, like they don't really look to me like oh there are potions there I mean I hope that the players will ask what's in them but I also know that sometimes you have to hit your players over the head with the details uh, several times until they figure out what you're trying to say <laughs> so we're going to um, make it a little bit better than what it looks like um, also because if I'm gonna take the time to make a map I'm gonna make it good um, which is why it takes me forever to do things but we're gonna do the wall tool so even on this map it's just like a wooden uh, place so we're just gonna make it the border about there I guess again we're kind of making our own thing so it doesn't have to be perfect um, I like to not like sometimes I use the building tool and then it puts a floor in for you and stuff but I kind of like to be able to change up what the floor looks like because I think when it's all just one and this is something I learned from Birdie's maps actually um, but I feel like when it's just one pattern on the floor it's like overbearing and it's just like too much. And since this is just like one building, like I don't really need to show that it's a cohesive building, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to do it my way. Um, so then I'm going to go to the pattern tool and I'm going to change all the colors that they like pick. These are just what they have normally. They always suck. Um, <laughs> so I always change them up. Um, in this, it looks kind of like a tile floor, which kind of makes sense because, like, it's a potion lab, right? So you got to think a potion lab, there's lots of liquid, and you need to be able to clean that, and wood absorbs liquid, and then you'd have, like, you know, crap in your wood, especially in old times, right? I feel like, at least. I don't know. I'm not a history buff or anything, so I don't really know. <laughs> We're just winging it as per usual. So I'm going to go with, 
I'm gonna see what this one I always want to use this one but I feel like it's always yeah it's always too much get that out of here so undo um let's see maybe this one that one is also too much I just feel like they could do so many better things with the tiles let's do let's try this one uh, it's okay so that's better than the other one but I want to change the color I'm gonna make it a little darker just be, maybe not black dark but here you go and I'm not gonna do the whole thing I'm gonna do just this area um, <laughs> actually we since it's so hard to see I might actually do the floor last now that I'm thinking about it just because it's gonna be hard to see this stuff underneath but we can do the outside one so that should be like cobblestone now let's do this one let's see it's all right I guess and then kind of looked like it had a border on it so there is a where's the path tool again you get to like watch me do a little struggling I do feel like if I had a complaint about dungeon draft it would be that these symbols don't make sense to me you know in the UI like these just and maybe that's because I don't you I've never before dungeon draft I didn't even try to make my own maps so maybe these are just standard for everybody and I just am not aware but if I'm not aware then other people aren't aware and my husband and I talk about UI UX design all the time and like because I was in marketing and he's in web design and we always like talk about that kind of crap so maybe I'm just hyper aware um, but yeah so path tool I'm gonna add some wood so I do have some of these I honestly don't remember where they came from I'd have to look at my asset packs actually it probably says okay I don't know where that is um, but I can I'll look for a link and see if I can drop it for you guys it was free I'm pretty sure but I like these because they add just like a little bit more um, to the scene right so I want to add like planks to the path and I just like look at that that looks like slightly more complete I always forget you have to like left click to end your path well, doesn't it look kind of like, I don't know, it's lined or something. So that's one thing. We need a door as well. So let's put a door. I don't think it really, I don't know what the difference between all these different doors really is, you know. I just like pick one and hope for the best. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, so I got the outside. Let's put in, so we've got some shelves back here. I also thought I would make some assets for this and save it, um, which is something else I learned as like a quick tip. If you use something over and over and over again, you can save it almost like a template and then you can reload it later. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I just, I've never had to do that really before. So we're gonna try something new. Um, all right, but let's go to objects and whoop. see, I always have to click through everything to find things. Um, I'm going to actually put this on two so that it's the floor is on one. I don't want a globe. <laughs> um, so, well, let's just start with the table in the middle because I think that is kind of the most important thing so that's a bar I find I have to make my own crap a lot because there's just not enough also we're kind of small scale I don't want to make it too big though uh, that's another thing if you make assets bigger on here then they get this like if, I'll show you so right now it's at one so I you see how like dark this like line is on the outside so it's like it 
obviously it makes the outlines bigger too and I feel like that kind of makes the scene just not look as good like you can obviously tell that that is bigger than like this right <laughs> like it just looks like it doesn't fit if you especially if you try to like use this to make another table um, yeah it just doesn't look good so um, anyway control Z all of that so I'm gonna think I'm just gonna use these small tables and layer them together I'm going to put it on a square. Need a room. Yeah, so like, I'm going to do like this. Using this scroll wheel to like turn again. Um, that looks like what? Like a scroll or something. Where else do we, we need a table down here. Which looks like it's like an accounting table. So we'll put that there. There's... No other tables, but there's like a bookshelf here. We can throw that in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, type shelf. If anybody knows like cool asset like packs and stuff, let me know because I'm always looking for stuff. But I, I honestly want them to look cohesive. These are too small. And I think that's my problem. Like, I want it all to look like they're from the same thing, but, like, nobody has enough for me. I don't like any of these for this shelf. Yeah, we might have to make our own. So let's go back to that table. Actually, let's try this one. That's a little closer. Yeah, we're not trying to make it perfect, but... Oh, that one had... Whatever. Is this a chest? Does that look like a chest? No. I don't think it's a chest. So we're not putting a chest there. Because as soon as you put a chest there, people are going to be like, oh, What's in the chest? <laughs> Nothing. Because it's not a chest. Uh, what was I doing? This one, I think. Well, I think that's the closest. Sure. We're trying to remake the map because I'm trying to show like how you do that, but at the same time, you're gonna take some oh shelf <laughs> shelves or shelf. You can't write both words at the same time. This is also a shelf, but there's again nothing super equivalent. So we're just gonna put a whole bunch there. All right, that's a good start. This is like a super easy map, so hopefully. It works. Oh, potion. How about vial? How do you spell vial? Vial. That's right. Mm, nope. Uh, bottle. See, there's always. All right, we'll just go through. That's one way to do it too. Is like you start to learn where the assets are. So as you like go through, you can just pick out stuff instead of searching. Um, if I were more familiar with Dungeon Draft, that would be like ideal. There's like a bedroll here, so we have one of these. Let's change the color. I try to stick to this color palette um, because they already have. Uh, like a color palette to some of this stuff, right? So like, if you pick out a carrot, you can't change the color, really, of some of it. So like, can you? No, yeah, see, it doesn't change. So it's orange and green, but it's the same orange and green that's like in here, you know? So you, you don't have to like, adjust everything. Um, anyway, the bed roll. Uh, let's just do like, it's probably like a dirty sheet, right? Because uh, he's been, it's kind of a hideout. So he's been hiding away here. So we'll put this, this bedroll seems small. He's a big guy. So we're going to make it just a little bit bigger. But not that big. You can see the black lines. Up instead of down. 
let's do that. There you go. So that's that. There's a chair here. That's like in the water. Yeah, that's not what we want. What is this? I don't remember these corpses. And fish? That's nice. Jesus, I don't need a kraken. Aw, uh, kitty! Well, that would have been nice for my last one shot. Um, okay, we don't need that. <laughs> a chair probably also not in the best shape right so brown okay this is the boring part where I just run through all the assets actually this is the fun part for me but the boring part for you um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm just not seeing a lot of okay here we go so we got some, these are chimneys, but we're going to use them, yeah, I'm going to use some of these, okay, I can't have snapping, so you can always turn off the grid down here if it's too much, um, I like the grid, uh, it helps me know like where people can walk, I guess, um, the other thing is there's lighting, we don't have any lights right now, so there's no use in having that on or off or messing with that setting um, but this is the snap button so if you don't have the snap on you can put it anywhere if you have the snap on it snaps to increments and I have half um, blocks turned on so I can snap it into the like in between two crosshairs there um, but we're going to turn that off so we can play around with this is this colorful can I color this no all right that sucks but I'm just going to put this maybe here, we're going to use this one, maybe make it a little bit smaller, and like put it over here, because this is where he makes potions, this is his potion workbench. Okay, oh this would be, a, I mean I know it's a chimney. we can make I'm gonna put this here for now just so I know that it exists and we'll come back to it what's this a bird bath that also kind of looks like something you'd have potions in I mean these are also bird baths and fountains some of them are too big though That's a well. So here's our barrels. So you do need some giant barrels, right? This looks more like a wine one, but it'll be fine. And we'll put... Oh, that's a big one, too. We don't want all of them to be giant. But we'll put maybe one here. I kind of want over here to have like a something dripping so that like the players can see that there's like something over there you know what I mean so maybe I'll put like a trough under it or something yeah yeah under did I not hit under there it goes <laughs> I wish it wasn't blue though I wish I could change the color of the water I could uh actually probably could if I put it into uh, maybe like this da, da, da. if I put it into Illustrator or Photoshop I could totally add some color there but I don't know if I want to spend all that time I could make it glow Is that worth it? I don't know. Alright, so... Back to the barrels. 
and the crates. So we have barrels all along here. I This is one that I'm going to turn into an asset because I feel like I'm always stacking barrels on each other. So I'm going to turn it into a template and we're going to hope for the best. But I think they need to snap for this because I want them to all be almost perfect, right? So I guess we're doing underneath first. Actually, we're doing over first. So... I don't always need that many though. We need one more underneath there. That's pretty good. It could use some shading though. Like some of this. Let's see. This is hard. So these are from, um, is it Kroger's? Uh, Light and Shadow pack. Um, it's very nice, but it's so hard to figure out which ones are which, you know, because like if you look at this, it says, I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see that I'm pointing at it. Um, but if I hover over this, it says that it's, you know, color gradient, full circle, V, small, 50, and then like you hover to the next one, and that's same thing up until 25. And it's like so hard to like figure out um, I wonder if you could name them yourselves, but, or like, I wish you could maybe mark them too, like these are my favorite, and then, you know, not have to do that, which also might be a thing, I don't actually, I don't think I've updated this in a while, so who knows, I don't want, I would like something, mm, I guess that's okay. So which, which one is this? Medium 50 or medium 25. So the number is how dark the shadow or the color is. Um, so this is probably at 75. No, this is 100. But obviously it's a like the middle of it is 100. And then it kind of fades out. So this is 25 and it kind of fades out. So we're going to do, I want 75, I think. Yeah, and we're just gonna, actually I could use, well, that'll be fine. I could use the path for this too, but I think this will be okay. And then I can copy it, oh, there's too many there. Okay, so there's that barrels of stuff. So let's try to make a, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? <laughs> Prefab, this thing, <laughs> this thing here. Um, I've not ever done this, so we'll see what happens. So if I, I probably have to select things. So select these. Okay, so this is the select tool, the little arrow looking thing. So I selected them all, and we're going to go ahead and hit this button, make prefab. Uh, shadows off, block light should be on, actually, right, because it's a stack, so you can't probably see through them. Um, there's no custom color. All right. We're gonna make it, we're gonna name this. Oh, we don't want this in examples. Can we add another one? I don't know. Um, prefabs, <laughs> super, okay. And then we'll name this one. Actually, we should name it something else like tavern. Can I get rid of that? Okay, <laughs> tavern or um, storage. That's a good name. Um, and then this would be barrels. Except. So now I should be able to just use the prefab. So if we go here, go to the storage one, 
hit that, yep. And now, can we turn it? Maybe not. Uh, da -da. If I select it, I probably can. There we go. No. Is it snapping? Is that what it is? Why is it doing that? That's crazy. Ah, well. Okay. Well, that was slightly disappointing. <laughs> right. Oh, because some of it's not selected. Is that what it is? No. It's this one guy is off. Uh, can I separate them? Delete this guy. Yeah, for some reason that one object was like just messed up. So I think it'd be kind of stacked like this. But we also need to if at least send this to the back. There you go. So some barrels. And now we can do that again, but delete some of them, huh? Storage, barrels. Because we don't need that many. But we're just going to do this. Go back to select. I'm just going to delete this end. Uh, separate, delete. Okay. There you go. Pull this to the front. Perfect. Perfect. So these number four have something in them. They have a potion of lycanthropy. If you drink it, you turn into some were creature for 1d6 hours. <laughs> so that's exciting. We need to probably put some sort of cool item or like potion looking things over there. Where am I? Objects. So back up. Again, we have to make shift some uh, makeshift stuff. A bucket. That's probably important, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll put one up here. What would be ingredients for potions? <laughs> Anybody? Uh, mm -hmm. That looks like a well. I wish it was wooden. So we're going to make our own. And just take a barrel. Do this, make some smaller barrels. Woo, like that. Then back to bigger barrels. No, not point one. That's tiny. Let's put something, hmm, actually, where's the glowy? Let's see if we can make this kind of look like water or like something. Is this, where's the hundred percent? So that's hundred percent. Let's see if we can make it look. So what would lycanthropy look like? For some reason, I want to say gray. Like wolves are gray. Rats can be gray. I mean, I know that's not the only color wolves can be, but. 
So, oh, I have to set... Uh, I don't remember how to set these. Hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Is that what it is? That's not the right. There. That's huge. That's too big. Uh, medium. Like I said, this is so hard to navigate. Is there only medium? What the heck? These must be broken. And that's why they're red. <laughs> that's large. All right, I guess we're going to have to go with medium because I have no other option. Oh, wait, small. Oh, it's too small. God dang it. Wait, I'll make it bigger. Scale four. Smart. Okay. Perfect. Gray. I'm going to, like, do it twice. I'll do that one one more. So you can't really see the lines in it, right? But you got the effect that it something's in there. I like that. It looks good. Um, okay, so we should change this to this one. We could maybe use the path version. So you also get these paths. And like I said, they're crazy to look at. But we're going to try to find, not the double shadow, we want to find, well, they're only shadows. That's the problem. I don't think we can color it, can we? No. Oh, God. Get that out of here. <sighs> so we're just going to have to use the circles. So let's do that. What color are these? these this is number three. Number three is a potion of slow. Any creature who consumes this will fall under the effect of the slow spell. Oh, well, that's bad. Um, so let's make it yellow. Under. Mm. We're going to have to adjust some stuff. So Again, we're just kind of making crap up and making it look somewhat good, if we can. Pull these guys up. Where am I? Here I am. <laughs> bring to the front. And, oop. Don't move him. Just bring him to the front. Dum. Okay. Kind of looks okay. I think we could do a little better and add some of the paths to it just to, like, again, make it look like. Oh, well, you have to be on the right layer. There's, that's uh, the key. <laughs> so, is it still going to put it under? No. <sighs> Let's see. We'll just put it on four then, because that is definitely above. So there you go. Kind of makes it a little cleaner, at least. Eesh. Nope. There you go. <laughs> I'm so bad at using these tools. If I used it more often... Oh. Hello. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I should zoom in, huh? So you guys can see what I'm doing, but also so my eyes can see. There. That's better. Oh, there's a dude down there. Uh, it's fine. People can, like, point it out all they want. I'm just trying to make it look less like um I don't know, like a glow and kind of more like it's a contained 
liquid, <laughs> which I'm sure they'll figure out anyway, but. So space, by the way, space to drag things around. Uh, control to zoom in and out. And there we go. So there's that. Let's put more crap on this table. So always the wrong button, always the wrong button. So you can also use a scatter tool to like put different shaped things on the table. Um, again, I'm kind of looking for, let's change it to blue, see what I can change. I'm kind of trying to make it look like, oh, here's a cauldron. Oh, but it's huge. Oh, because I'm set to huge. There you go. I mean, that's nice, I guess. You can change the colors. It's nicer than I thought. All right, get rid of this bucket. No, get rid of this chimney. Keep that other chimney. I like that one there. And come back. There we go. And put some different cauldrons here. I think they should be different colors. This one will be green. Uh, doo -doo. How about purple? There's another cauldron here. Oop. He's kind of bigger. Just make it smaller. Purple, why not? I don't want to put too many colors, actually, because, you know, people will be like, what's this one? What's this one? It's nothing. Don't don't worry about it. Let's put some empty ones though. Okay. Ah, oh, we could have used a toilet. We could still use a toilet, actually. Uh, I think you have to be like when you use Dungeon Draft and you don't add other assets, you have to be like super creative with them. Because otherwise, I don't know how you'd get things to look super good. Unless you wanted to make your own assets, which people do. Holy crap. Oh, that's a sale. I was like, whoa. Um, yeah. I need ingredients. What do you put in potions? I don't know. What's in this sack? Oh. It's probably green, right? Whatever's in the sack. They're just things spilled out everywhere. Uh, maybe we've got some sacks back here, actually. Because you need... I should be using the scatter tool for that part. So let's do that. Scatter tool. Let's add the... Well, not that one. Let's do this, and then I want kind of varying scales. Rotation is fine. Okay, so we'll just put, and that one needs to go under. Isn't there a quick button for that? I don't know what that is. I feel like there was. Tab? Nope. All right, well, I'm going to put this here. This one looks like it should go on the table. Why can't I be up? That's okay. Eh. Don't put too many. I think I always put way too many items. Which I guess you can always take away. But... Let's go to this, put this guy on the table. Why can't I be on the table? What? Oh, I'm on the wrong level, aren't I? User level. Is that what it is? Oh, gosh. Don't put that one on there. Yeah. No, this is on. Yeah, that's what it was. It was on 
one instead of. So let's. Oh, I kind of like that one there. I want this guy to spread out a little. There you go. So we got this over here. This kind of looks like a set of potions, doesn't it? So like, I'll put that there. Oh. Grab this guy. Like different vats of water. All right, what else is there? That we can make look like potion paraphernalia. Mm. Oh, we definitely need some spills, huh? So, a spill here. We could just put this on the lower. Well, no, because the table's on. So, we'll just do this. We'll move it. We need to steal that color. Oh. Like I said, steal this color. Oh, God. Get rid of that. Oh, God. We're just making all the mistakes. There we go. All right. Steal this color. That looks like a definite blood spurt, though, so we're not going to put that one. But we can use this one. He's a messy guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, Here, this one. A couple drops everywhere. Some on the floor, right? Nothing is uh, sacred in this place. There you go. And then let's move these, this guy, down, but oh, actually move this guy up. So we're going to have to do bring to the front. Nope. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. Oh, we're in a different layer. Well, whatever. He's okay. Okay, more stuff. Object. Um, we need some papers, probably, right? Because he's got to be looking at recipes. Oh, here we go. Like drawers of stuff. Probably not that color. I got some drawers. I actually want it to snap because I want to put them right up against the wall. Why is that one different? Oh, because this one's wider. All right, I don't want them to snap. <laughs> I was hoping that would make them kind of be lined up, but it didn't. should have a couple other ones. A cabinet. There you go. Yes. That's a toilet. I'm using the toilet for potions. But I feel like I could make something with this. <laughs> okay. So I've got some toilets. I feel like you would have, like, one of those things that, like, you know, like in chemistry, you got, like, the tubes and stuff. But this is, like, medieval times, and he's poor, so he probably can't afford a lot of glass, right? Because then you have to have the glass maker make you special tubes and stuff. So he's probably just using wood. So that's what we're making here. This is one of those things, like, one, put one vial in one area, one vial in the other one, and, you know, add, I don't know what that does, but it looks cool in sci-fi things, so that's what we're doing. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that's a bigger one, but... So, it doesn't look like toilets now. 
So that's good, I guess. Oh, mm, we need just like a circle. We can paint a different color. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. A mushroom. Just make it a little smaller. Oh, not too small. Now there's no black lines. And let's change its color. Like green in this side. Blue on this side. Turn it a little. <laughs> there we go. What else do people use in potions? Uh, there's got to be like a box of ingredients, right? Get this back to one. Nope, size one, please. What? Is my numbs lock not on? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Fruit? Are they all fruit? That's potatoes. This looks like potatoes. Let me just put some ingredients down. Actually, we should put it under, like they're sticking out, you know? Who knows what that is? Some kind of weird mushroom. Let me just put some different I want it to be just crazy colors. Like, who knows what these exotic ingredients are? There you go. And they're kind of under the table. Recipes was a thing that we mentioned. So, paper. That is a pillow, not paper. Oh, he also has, like, personal belongings down here. We could put that here. It is size one. Okay. Uh, does he have any... Oh! That's right. He's also He also is a fan of hats. So that's what's in this corner over here, is hats. Um... So we should do that. Add some, like a hat stand and probably make some crap up as per usual. Uh, let's see. But first, ooh, big bowls. Uh, oh, a stove would have worked for that too, huh? Don't they... Do they boil stuff in potion making? Look how much I know about potion making. Nothing. I'm going to put this guy over here, actually. I know he's a bath, but I bet I can color him. Because over here at one is a potion of levitation. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm reading this incorrectly. They're different kinds of... They're not all over the place. It seems like they're only over here at four, up where those big barrels are. So... I kind of like the idea, though, of having them spread out better than that. So two is actually a hat station. One is the entry way. And this is difficult terrain because there's so many crates and boxes. Um, gotcha. Four is the barrel wall. Oh, and each of these is also a potion. And they have to roll a d10 to see what they get. Oh boy. Oh god, if a barrel bursts or its contents are investigated by someone proficient in potion making, uh, DC 15 alchemist or herbalist kit, Roll on the table below to determine its contents. If the barrel breaks against the creature, they will immediately be influenced by the liquid due to the sheer volume covering their body. And some of the potions are, uh, one's a solvent, so it's acid damage. One's a glue 
for hat making. Uh, one is levitation, confusion, minor healing, fear, magical grease, uh, potion of blindness, a potion of haste, and enfeeblement. That sucks. Um, and then the large potion vats, which is the ones up here. I honestly like the idea, though, of having some on the table, too. So it doesn't matter, really. They could still roll that d10, and then one of those is inside those other barrels. I kind of like that idea better. But we need to prepare the hat station. Um, okay, so if we're doing that, we should put this over here and try to, like, make different colored ones. What is this? This is berries. So over, let's use a different color. Oh, that kind of makes it look like charcoal or something. That's good. Okay, let's put some recipes on here. There's like a scroll, you can kind of see it in the background um, that they have on this table. So let's kind of, let's use the scatter tool actually on layer two and go back up to the paper. I'm gonna use this. This is good actually, yeah. So use some paper, change the color of that pot to what? Gray probably. Uh, size should be little. So everything should be one and like maybe 0.75. This guy's huge, though. Yep. They're all huge. They also need some papers over here, though. Let's make them smaller. 50 and 50. Does that actually work? They still look pretty big to me some recipes. That's too small, but we'll put it over there. Okay, then over here, probably have some ledgers. go. Let's maybe add an envelope or two. These can be just regular size. So let's go back to the object tool and just add like a letter here. Um, oh, and a quill because you got to write. He's probably right-handed. I hear food. Is that my food? Food. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. And okay, so we got that. I feel like there should be a cauldron in here because I feel like, right, if you're at a potion making station, you would use the cauldron to boil stuff. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it bigger. I feel like it just needs to be... Oh, not that big. Those black lines are ugly. There we go. Put that there. It needs a fire underneath. Oh, this is like a forge, though. But that kind of looks good. Do that. And then... Actually... That might be better. Yeah, because I feel like he's probably kind of poor. And this gives it that illusion of having, like, fire. That's a campfire. There were some pots here. There. We'll put, like, 
a pot and a pan over here. Mm -hmm. Maybe a spoon. Right, we, uh, do we need a, oh, here's some bottles, but let's make them smaller and numerous. So let's scatter them <laughs> and maybe pick multiple colors. That's a thing you can do too, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So let's just pick all sorts of colors. Purple, there you go. All really small. They don't really have to rotate though. <laughs> so now let's just put a whole bunch of vials here. Put some over here. Maybe put some on this chest over here. Like he's very disorganized. He doesn't really know where any of these potions go. Okay, so we got that. We should probably put something, maybe like a cauldron on top of this table. Mm, not that. Actually, a bucket might work. Nah, it's got a handle. Okay, let's just search. <laughs> Probably faster. So, not cauldron. What was it? Uh, no, a cauldron would work. Cauldron. It's too small. There you go. I've already been streaming for a little bit too long, but we're almost done with the map, so. We're going to make a hat station. Are there hats in here? <laughs> hat. There's one hat and a cat. <laughs> um, that's a hatch. Okay, so we need to make something that looks like a hat stand. So. Oh, before we do that, let's turn this. This is probably done. So I'm going to, oop. I'm going to turn this. No, I don't want to click that. No. Where's my objects? What am I doing? Why is it always so hard to like do things? There we go. <laughs> All right. Layers. That's this layer. How do I select all? What am I doing wrong here? There we go. Hit shift. <laughs> Select all my objects. And I'm going to... Are they attached? Yep. Oh, it won't let me make a prefab. Maybe move them all to the same layer. Hmm. It's probably because they're not on the same later, layer. Whoop. Get back. There you go. Oh, I've selected a wall. That's not good. All right, well, we'll deal with it later then. Oh, God. Now everything's selected. Let's save real quick because I feel like we're about to do 
a good old crash. Huh, I didn't know you could do that previous tool. That's new. And this is a filter. Oh, you can turn everything on and then, oh, and then just select the objects. There we go. That works better. This one's name is going to be Potion Table. I'm going to say L shape. So I know. Except, there we go. Easy peasy. Back to this. Try to make some hats. Hat looking. Th this looks like a hat. What is this? It's a plate. And that could be a hat, right? I'm trying to make a hat stand. What else could be a hat? Anybody see anything that looks hat like? That's an actual hat, so that's good. We need some cloth, right? So maybe we make this table like miscellaneous fabrics. That's a carpet, <laughs> but it could be fabric for hats. There you go. This looks like a hat if we make it smaller. All right, now we need that little piece of wood. This hat stand would have like a bottom piece to it that's wood. Put this underneath, kind of like that. And then this needs to go over, but be a little bit bigger. I have to move these a little bit. Oh. Okay. Rearrange some things. Do the side a little. Bring to the front. There you go. Kind of looks like a hat stand. I like this hat. It's too big. Right? You know, it's got like arms and each little arm has a hat on it. That's a hat stand. Do they have weaving stuff too? Let's see. What do you call that? <laughs> no. Nope. Alright. Oh, here we go. That's like a cloth, right? this uh, like right here that's a camp mat that's probably good unless we see something that looks like uh, like a wheel like one of those spinning wheels or make it look like a sewing machine of of sorts. Can we do that? Let's see. Oh, we do need a chair for down here too. Yeah, just do. Oh, that's a tiny chair. Set to one. There we go. It doesn't matter if it's over or under right now. Let's fill this chest with hat supplies. And there you go. 
go. Shield. What's a hat supply? <laughs> Not an arrow tip. Oh, we could use this to make a sewing machine, kind of. I don't know what an old, oh, that's not it. I don't know what an old timey sewing machine would look like. I'm thinking of like one of those spindles, I guess, is what I'm thinking, like that you use to make wool into thread. That's more what I'm thinking or envisioning. So I'll put that like here. And then let's see how we can make this kind of look like. Let's look one up, actually. What do you call that? Uh, a spinning wheel? Is that right? Oh, you have to actually type in the thing. Spinning wheel. Oh, no. For thread. Yes, this is what I'm looking at, like what I'm thinking. But from a top down perspective, you wouldn't really see the wheel. You would just see a bunch of like thread, right? So, and like a little, yeah, something like that. And I want the wood to be Oh, wait, this is a target, but that could be thread, right? Sure, why not? And <laughs> anything can be whatever I want. I'm the DM. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I want it to be like metal though, huh? So gray, that's a pillar. That might work. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm not seeing anything better. Make it a little bigger though. Not too big, cause again, that ugly black lines. Sure, kinda looks like a spinning wheel. Not my best job. Could have been better. We need to change this guy's color to something not blue maybe like it's also green okay this is not a bad map now we just need crates for the difficult terrain so we're going to put it down here we're gonna just get a bunch of them in the scatter tool. Oops, I guess there's a whole bunch of spaces there cause I'm a dummy. Oh my God, just go crates. <laughs> there you go. I want them all to be like this size. One, five to one. Put some small ones over here. big ones are underneath over under Sure, that's difficult terrain. <laughs> this one needs to go under. There we go. Over. Yeah, difficult terrain. I think that's a pretty good map. Now let's do the floor that I didn't do earlier. <laughs> and we can turn off the trace, I think, at this point. So, settings. 
tray settings, we can just turn the opacity off all the way down. And then let's also change the terrain. So this is the terrain should be, oof, no. <laughs> Maybe grass outside. It's too bright. Let's do this one. And then we will add floor. Where am I? Nope. Nope. Pattern. So again, I kind of like to just make it look different. So we got this out here. Let's add Uh, what did we say? This one. So this one for most of it, right? We need to turn the snap on. Okay. Maybe over here we got it too. Okay. And then let's mix it up. Maybe some wood over here. Oof, not that one. Maybe make it darker. Yeah. Okay, and then I want to line the room maybe with this. Just make it like slightly more brown, I'm thinking. Oh, I wasn't not doing a good job there. Slightly more brown, not black. Too brown. Actually, let's copy like this color here. Hmm. I think it's too close to this color, so I might change that. But that's kind of nice. Actually, I want all that to be wood, too. There you go. Kind of like outline the room. I think it still needs to be darker. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, I guess I'm going to add shadow, too, so it'll make it look, make everything look dark, so... There we go. Let's make this darker as well. Because otherwise I feel like it kind of overpowers whatever you've made, you know? There we go. That kind of, I think that looks good. We want this all to be wood. Like this is all one piece. Not the anime. Um... <laughs> Let's change it. Let's change it to this one. See how this looks. Uh, how about this one? Oof, that's too dark. Oh, somehow I copied the wrong color. There we go. Yeah, there we go, because that's the lines on those aren't as dark. I feel like it needs a border, though, so let's add a path. Always going all out on these maps that we'll use for, like, ten minutes, and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, maybe I should make it look like they're on a shelf. Yeah, let's use a different wood. Yeah, 
I like that. Is it useful? No, but <laughs> it adds something. All right, so let's do some shadows and then we'll call it quits for the day. And so this is the large one. We probably just need a medium. If I can ever find it, small, large. Medium. That's 125. We're going to go with 50. So unfortunately, I didn't turn the shadow off on the walls. So I might have to actually click on things and change that. Let's see. Yep. Actually, I'm just going to delete it and redo it because it's not going to take that long to do. Control minus also zooms out. <laughs> I feel like it does it more in increments instead of like control like this kind of goes too fast for me sometimes. So anyway, also let's make it match. Uh, the floor. Let's see. Shadow off, over. There you go. And then door again. There you go. Now let's do the path tool. Good thing we're still here. So I feel like shadows just add so much to it. So we have to find the item for that one. Like, look at that. Suddenly there's depth to the map. I'm going to do it on the outside too, but you have to come from the other way. Like, look at that. Depth. It's beautiful. We're going to add some shadows around the tables too, but we don't need it as big. So we're going to do, that was medium, let's do small, like 50. Uh, the other way, so like this. Do that for the table over here. Other way. Not that way, though. We're going to have to turn the snap off. Ugh, that one table's off and it will bother me, but we'll just pretend like I'm not OCD about it. Should go all the way to the edge here. There we go. This has fire. So we're actually going to make that glow. We need some corners. We need some shadows under these boxes. So back to object all the way down. That's a small one. Under. That's a hundred though. I'm going to make a medium one. We also need the corner. Medium. Nope. Was it not medium? Well, not exact, but it's close enough. Turn the snap off. Where it's very small. 
Very small. Full circle. Lord. These are crazy. <laughs> there you go. I could snap to that, but instead I'm just doing it the hard way. That's a hundred. Fifty. There you go. We need a medium one. That's a small one. It's very small. Very large. Medium. Fifty. There you go. There you go. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm not selling this or anything, so it's not like I care that much, but I care enough. There we go. We got that. Let's add a glow for the fire, which cannot be that one. Oh, God, that's huge. Also big. Oh, because everything's set really large. There we go. Just a warm glow. So change the color. There you go. I could add lighting, but I'm not going to because I always edit the lighting in Foundry anyway. Um, but I think that kind of shows off all of that. I could put some bushes and stuff outside. But really, it's just going to be like a starting place for them. So I'm not going to like worry about it. And we're going to go ahead and save this and export it so I can at least show that. We're going to export it as a VTT because it'll keep the walls. Um, so universal. Um, there is no lighting, but we can keep the grid. And then we don't need to overlay. We're going to export it, put it in here as... Oh, potion lab. It'll do its thing while it's doing its thing. That's great. Okay, so while it's doing that, we can actually close this probably. Actually, probably. Get that out of here. Go here. We're already here. <laughs> close all this. Oh, my map importer. Okay, it is. So you go to scenes. I have the universal battle map importer module. You click here. You hit add another. F oh, choose a file, not add another file. I don't know where that's saved. Somewhere in this folder, probably. Maps. And here it is. Potion Lab. Open. So. Everything should be good. All right. Don't need to offset it. No padding needed. Should name the scene, though, as Holds Stronghold. <laughs> and then that's that. User data. That's good. So everything should be good. It's on here. Hit import. And then it sometimes takes a long time. Oh, but maybe it didn't this time. Oh, because it's a pretty small map. So there you go. That's our map. Um, I'll add some lighting. Um, so what I like to do is I like to make it dark and then add the lights because then you can kind of see better. So this is kind of fiery. All right. So there's that. There's probably some sort of light on here. 
through. And then he probably has a light source over here. Um, I don't think they'll approach this at night, but this is really only in case they do. Uh, because I just feel like that adds a little bit to it. But this one is going... Oop. No, turn that back on. I right-clicked, if you're wondering. If you right-click, it turns it on and off. Um, but double-click, and you can change the animation, which I like to do. Um, so this one's going to be a definite, like, flickering. There it is. So it kind of looks like it's a torch. You can speed it up or slow it down, which is cool. But whatever. There's that. This one can also be flickering. And this one can be flickering. Because most likely the candlelight, even though I didn't put any in here, um, they'll get the sense. And like I said, I don't predict them needing to be here at night. So we'll turn it back to daytime. And that's it. That's our map. So I have one other map I'm going to import into this later. Um, so, oh my goodness, what happened? <laughs> You're just constantly having issues. Well, now I'm real close. You just have to deal. Um, <laughs> but that's pretty much it for this one. I'm going to probably save this and um, probably trim it a little bit before I put it on YouTube just so that it's more condensed because that was almost two hours of that. Um, but everything should be uh, pretty good to go for our map. We have one more map to do, but I think I'm going to, not I say steal, but I'm gonna get one for Birdie Maps. Um, and then we'll have that in here. I have a few more items to make, um, but if you guys want to see all of those things, the stream, like I said, for this one shot is going to be uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, June 24th at 12 p.m. Or, uh, yeah, 12 p.m. noon. And so we're going to, that's Eastern time. We're going to stream Presto Changeo. I have a good group of people from the Discord community that are going to be a whole bunch of different characters uh, and they're going to have a lot of fun at this carnival themed adventure <laughs> so hopefully you guys can join me there and if not I'll at least have that video up as well on the YouTube channel so until then I'll see you guys later bye bye